championship fight between Jan Blachowicz and Glover Teixeira. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. The confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 32 wins, 7 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Clover Teixeira. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, he is Reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Jan Blakowicz. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. as this fight gets underway, and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands. 
checks the leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Teixeira's got the full mount. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Blahovic. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to grounding pound as they were in the past. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Able to land the single ground strike there. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Glover Teixeira. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes have landed for Glover to share. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice head kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Single collar tie now. Working out of that southpaw stance. He blocks the punch. Straight right, he misses. Big and kick. Wahovich going for the takedown here. Nothing doing. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Seconds now in round one. Right. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Second round here. Wahovic gets caught with that punch.
He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Stuff to take down, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, uh, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 71 total strikes have now landed for Glover to share. And connecting on a pretty good clip as well, 55% the accuracy rate against Jan Vlahovic. A oh, little single collar tie there. Beautiful kick. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Wild attempt with the right hand there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Good punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, huge right hand! All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice guillotine there. Nice guillotine. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got... Oh, how about this, as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flu choke. Oban St. Pru would be proud. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. Play as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. And there is our UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, all smiles tonight, and rightfully so, after getting it done by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, So just like that, we have a new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and it's always interesting to digest this result when we have a challenger come in and, and shake up the entire division. Especially when it's a guy like this, a guy that can talk the talk, but also walk the walk. He isn't a guy that's going, 
I'm so humble. I'm so cautious. I'm so respectful. No, he tells you what he's going to do, and he gets the job done tonight. He becomes the king of the world, the UFC champion.